Now, would you believe we're on about at the end of July? We haven't I had know. 100 degree day Not yet. Not one. We've hit 99, but that was in June. So, wow, difference from last yeah, year, isn't a it? Big difference. <laughs> and exactly. then we get the, so much rain so this year as well. Cools it down. Cools it down, yeah. just like what we saw today. Right now, things are pretty quiet on the radar. We did see showers and thunderstorms earlier, uh, with just trace amounts of precipitation here in the Austin area. A little bit heavier amounts out in the hill country, western Gillespie County. The only spot on the map still looking at a few very light showers as that last thunderstorm uh, tapers off. That area, western Gillespie, saw two to three inches of rain. Now, now that's Doppler estimated uh, rainfall amounts with that storm. But we have more rain in our forecast. We could see additional showers both tomorrow, your Tuesday, and your Wednesday. Right now, though, temperatures have fallen into the upper 70s in some places like Burnett and San Saba, Fredericksburg, 75 degrees there. The rest of us still in the low 80s. It's 83 in Bastrop, 83 in Rockdale, and 83 right now in Giddings. Here in town, 80 degrees at Camp Mabry, mostly clear skies, partly clear, 77 out at the airport. Very light winds, very calm conditions. Though we'll see last through the overnight hours. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, since all of the wet weather has vanished this evening, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies, 74 degrees to start out the day. By noon, mostly to partly sunny conditions, or mostly cloudy to partly cloudy conditions, I should say, 85 degrees, and then 6 p.m., 93, when we have a chance for rain tomorrow as well, mainly during the peak heating hours of the day. And once the sun goes down, some of those will lose some of their strength and begin to weaken. Satellite radar shows across the state we had showers stretching across north Texas all the way through central and then along the coast as well, all of them now really dying out that the sun has set. We're just left with some of that cloud cover. And this is all because we have this upper-level area of low pressure just off the Texas Oklahoma border there. You can see the counterclockwise rotation. And now that it's moving further northwest, it's actually tapping into some of that moisture off the Gulf, pulling that up into north and central Texas. And that is why we're seeing better chances of rain as we go through the first part of your work week here. So let's go hour by hour through your forecast. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies. For tomorrow, we start to see the rain chances work their way in around noon. Best chance for some wet weather towards the afternoon, evening hours. Then once the sun goes down, those will taper off. Same sort of setup on on Tuesday as well, only a little bit better chance for a shower too. We'll go about 40% on Tuesday across the entire country in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And this pattern that we're seeing with this upper level low is going to weaken by the middle of the week. And instead of that low pressure system that's moving its way west, we're going to see high pressure takeover uh, over the southeast corner of the U.S. And that's going to really impact our weather as we go through the last part of the work week. We'll see our temperatures start to soar, uh, conditions dry out, and a little bit more sunshine by Friday. Tonight, we're expecting temperatures to fall into the upper 60s, low 70s in the hill country, low to mid 70s in the metro and eastern counties. For tomorrow, we'll see temperatures mainly in the low 90s. Increased clouds plus a little bit better chance for rain will help keep those temperatures cooler than what we saw today. 74 degrees tonight, mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow. Uh, mostly cloudy to partly sunny with a chance for rain through the afternoon. We'll top out, though, right around 93 degrees. And here's your seven-day forecast. Uh, Tuesday, 40% chance of sh shower. Same on Wednesday. A few thunderstorms thrown in there as well. So you could see uh, small, uh, small times of uh, heavy rain at times, maybe some lightning, some thunder as well through the afternoon as these storms move through the area. By Thursday, though, the system kind of starts to wrap up. Only a 20% chance of showers through the afternoon. By Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, more sunshine means hotter conditions. We'll see temperatures climbing back into the mid and upper 90s.